Yo, it's your boy Wolf, and I just jumped off the porch with Dirty Glove Bastard. No, I probably got him pissed off. Got a big bag and my bitch raw. You will never keep me tricking off. I'm a big dog, so I'm like Rick Ross. All right, so we got shot by Wolf off the porch with us today. Finally. Finally, man. <laughs> Finally got you from behind the camera to in front of the camera. Finally. Yeah. How you feeling today, bro? Straight. Wow. Well, I feel that. All right, so, you know, I had to do my research on you, man. And you're actually from New Orleans. Yeah. Okay. So what part of the city did you grow up in, in New Orleans? I'm from the third one. Okay. Yeah. So what were you into as a kid uh, while you were staying in New Orleans? I really, I was playing like basketball and football like outside and shit. Yeah. Like, I never was, I never played sports in school and that shit though. Oh, okay. <clears throat> that I'd just be outside with the bros playing yeah. football. A lot of football. I played hella football. I like tackle football? football? Yeah. What position were you playing? Well, you know, we just playing outside. We were playing yeah. whatever, whatever position. <laughs> you were both. Yeah. <laughs> so at what age would you say you jumped off the porch there? Uh, I don't know, bro. I've been, <laughs> I've been doing me since young. Yeah. I don't know. So how, how long you been in Atlanta now? How, when did you first come out this way? I, I've been back and forth since like late middle school. Oh yeah? High school, you know. So you had family out this way? Crazy. My, all my family living, all my family, I had family out here and they all moved to New Orleans. <laughs> <laughs> they all moved to New Orleans. I went on tour with Lil Wayne and like fucking, I dropped out of high school to go on tour with Lil Wayne. <laughs> I think a lot of people would do that. <laughs> yeah. Nah, a lot of people calling me stupid. Really? Yeah, a lot of people called me they stupid. They was just hating. They had to be. <laughs> a lot of people was like, um, like, I don't know. They said it was just, it didn't make no sense to drop out if I was, I don't know. They was just calling me a quitter, basically. They saying I'm a quitter. <laughs> but, um, look where I'm at now. Yeah. I'm not tripping. How did that opportunity come about for you, man? Not too many people in high school get the opportunity to get invited to go on tour Bro. with the GOAT. So look, I'm telling myself I want to uh, start shooting music videos, but I didn't, have, I didn't have none of the equipment. So I ended up getting a camera and I'm like, I still can't do nothing with the camera because I still don't have the equipment to shoot videos. So I'm like, I'm gonna just start taking pictures until I, um, so I can grow my clientele so that way when I start shooting videos, I'm gonna be straight already. Yeah. I'm taking pictures for like, I lied to you not, I'm taking pictures for like four months around school, like not really <laughs> on no big shit. Taking pictures around school. And uh, I think um, one of um, Wayne artists DM me, like uh, when he come, to, he like, when I come to Atlanta, I'm gonna fuck with you. And he came to Atlanta like a couple months later and he hit me up like, hey, I, um, I'm out here, and I got them. I pulled up on them. By the time I was shooting videos, okay. Pulled up on them. I shot him a video, and, and I sent it back like fucking the same day, <laughs> the same day. And then I guess when I sent them the video, Wayne was around, and he's like, "Damn, y'all niggas shot it. Like y'all got the same outfit as the video I'm looking at. Like y'all must have just shot it." He like, "Yeah, it's a young nigga. He 18, and he from New Orleans." He like, "Oh, for real, call him." <laughs> Called me. I think he just said some shit like I'm hard. But I couldn't breathe. <laughs> I ain't, I couldn't breathe. Like I really didn't know what to say. As a, he a big inspiration for me. Like he, yeah. I think he the best rapper ever. Yeah, he's the goat, man. I think he's like better than any rapper. I think he the best rapper to step foot on earth. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, it's hard to argue against that, man. Yeah, it is. <laughs> So, uh, what was that experience like then hitting the road? And how many sit? Did you, did you do the whole tour with them? Or did a whole? I did. We really was doing two tours at once. <laughs> it was so crazy. That, that shit was the funnest shit of my life. Like it was. That was the highlight of my life. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I can't name another a better situation that I was in. Yeah. And I was making money for real for the first time. They gave me like, I was on tour for like a month, maybe a month and a half or something. They gave me like ten thousand dollars for it, but shit, that was a lot of money to me. Uh, yeah, we I was in, in high, high school? school. I was working at a, a you, you know, Adrenaline is. Mm -mm. It's a, it's like a sky zone. It's like it's okay. a trampoline park. I was working there, bro, getting like 
probably $300 every two weeks. <laughs> so I see 10 racks. I'm like, what? And I spent the whole, I came home with nothing. You spent it all on the <laughs> road? all of it. No, I had, I had like a band. I had like a band, but I gave, I gave the whole thing to my mom when I got home. Yeah. And she was trying to get a house. So, well, apartment, whatever. Yeah. I just gave her the whole thing when I got home. What'd your moms think when you said you was dropping out of school to go go on yeah. tour? No, no, no. At first she was like, you're not doing it. But when the opportunity came, she's like, she really can't say no. Like, who wouldn't do it? Yeah. But she but then I um I went to she moved to New Orleans when I was on tour. So by the time tour was over, it was summertime. And then she wanted me to go back to school in uh in New Orleans. She oh like, yeah. But I'm, I, I went out there and I went to school, but it was like everybody in Atlanta is talking about me because they like, hey, this young nigga, he 18, and he just went on tour with Lil Wayne. We got to get a video shot by him. Everybody saying this back in Atlanta, and I'm in New Orleans going to school every day. Nobody out there know who I am. They don't know the story, but everybody in Atlanta like, oh, it's a young nigga, bro. That shit's crazy. He just blew up, whatever, with the woo. So I kept begging my mom every day, like, hey, I'm 18. I really could just leave and I really could just leave yeah. and go. But I just didn't want to go against her word and shit. <clears throat> but she never let me. So eventually I just end up getting a flight left. Really? And she was mad. She was so mad. <laughs> but she don't care now. Like she like uh, she like my biggest fan right now. Oh, I bet. Yeah. She loved my, she loved the fact that I did what I did. I took risk and did. Uh, whatever. Yeah. So who were some of the directors you had looked up to that made you want to shoot videos at first? Everybody loved Zay. Yeah. That nigga so hard. Zay, Jerry. Um, Cole Bennett, hard. Um, I ain't gonna lie, I, um, in Atlanta, I fuck with Diesel. Okay, yeah. yeah. His editing is crazy. He's he crazy. I fuck with him, I fuck with him when I when when I first when I, when I first was coming up, he was like the first nigga to goddamn really say. I came to one of his shoots. He was telling everybody, "Hey, this nigga Wolf gonna be up next." Like, he was really telling everybody, "Like, this nigga Wolf gonna go crazy." But then, um, I don't know who else I fuck with. I don't know, but definitely Zay. He like made like when I seen his videos, he made me want to goddamn really start shooting music videos. Him. Just Zay, <laughs> he made me really want to start. Yeah, he hard as fuck. Yeah, he started a whole movement. Up I there feel like yeah, I feel like he really started the whole run and gun video wave with Chief Keef back in the day. Mm -hmm. Like I feel like if it wasn't Zay, it wouldn't be no me. <laughs> <laughs> I might be still working at Adrenaline. <laughs> yeah. For real. So do you prefer to do the run and gun instead of right now treatments or? Yep. Why is that? Cause it's, it just. It's easier to me, of course. It's easier. And then I feel like, bro, when I be writing treatments, I be confusing myself and it never go as planned. Never, like never, bro. It's like literally never. Either something costs too much or we need too many things or the label won't pay for the budget for whatever. Mm -hmm. But <clears throat> I'm gonna I'm get to it soon. Like. I feel like I'm gonna be a hundred percent into it soon. Okay. No more running gun. Yeah. So what was that first camera that you owned that you were shooting videos on? I think I had a Nikon D3200. That camera was so bad. <laughs> <laughs> it was so bad. Like looking back at it, I don't even know why I was even putting up with that camera. That shit is terrible. How much did you spend on it? Probably like. Three, four hundred dollars. Yeah. And at the time, I'm like, no, I had to, had to spend like two something. Because I got a new camera later, and that shit was 500, and I had thought I spent the bag. I'm like, hell yeah, I just spent five whole hundred dollars on this new camera. Yeah. I'm thinking, <laughs> okay, my shit's gonna look way better. What like, are you using now to shoot? I use a, a Sony A7S III. Okay. That shit really like, it's really like a red, no cap. Yeah. It's it's like a um you could connect a monitor to it and it it records just like a red do it records raw footage. Okay. Shit hard. Yeah. I fuck with it. So who were some of the first uh, artists in Atlanta that gave you a chance to film for? Them? 
Young Ma. Okay. You know what's crazy? Diesel put me on the Young Ma shoot. Yeah. He 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 um, I think um Ma had like. At the time, he had some shit going on, and he, I, I don't know what happened, but. Diesel wanted like two racks for the video, and I'm charging three hundred dollars at the time. <laughs> and he like told Diesel he wasn't about to pay two racks, and Diesel was like, "Shit, I can call this other cameraman I fuck with. Come shoot it. He hard." He called me up there, and that was the first day I met Ma. And then we got down, we clicked. Like me and him was together every day, every single day for about a good year or two, yeah. shooting videos. Bro, we got so many unreleased videos, and Ma showed me so much love, like. Just shout me out all the time. Always tell everybody. When whenever rappers would come to town, like, and they'll link with Ma, go to the studio with Ma, he'll always tell them, like, oh shit, if you trying to shoot a video, go to Wolf. I'm gonna give you his number. Like, it's a bigger artist. That's major love right there. Yeah. Yeah. He showed crazy love. Like crazy love. I'm not gonna lie to you. Yeah. Do you have a favorite video that you and Ma shot? Mm. I like, um, everybody liked Cold Turkey. That shit was hard. That was the first video. That's the video Diesel put me on to. For real? That was the first one? That was the video. Because that song was hard as shit, finished, too. Bro, hell yeah. And then I finished the video, bro. You could, I promise to God, bro, you could ask Ma. I sent him the video, like, a couple hours later. Because <laughs> I was so hyped that I had just shot. This is, like, the first big artist that, besides Lil Wayne, of course, but, like, the first big artist that gave me a chance to shoot a video. Mm-hmm. Cause for Wayne, I never shot no video for him ever. They never even considered it. I was just taking pictures, so that's not really as iconic. I feel like as a video would be. Yeah. A video is stamped, like you know, nobody's gonna look at a picture 20 years from now and be like, oh, I know who took that picture. You know? <laughs> Music me. videos are being watched forever. Yeah. So. No, that's true. What's it like working on set with Maul, man? Man's a clown. <laughs> He's funny as hell. He's funny as hell. Really, I'm, I'm, if anything, I'm the annoying one on set. All I do is flame the shit out of everybody. I talk too much. <laughs> I'm flaming everybody on set. All the artists I work with, not just them all. Yeah. It was a video I had, a, um, you know the little, uh, the things at the, the um, car washes and the uh, dealerships, the little flimsy man? Shit. Yeah. I had compared him to that. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was so funny because he looked just, he's tall and skinny as fuck, just like that shit. How'd you link with Slime Life? Uh, he had just, I met him, the crazy thing, bro, he don't remember this. But when I first met Ma, Ma took me to the studio with him. And I seen Shawty. And I'm not gonna lie, I do not like Atlanta rappers like that. But when I saw him, I was like, he, before he popped, bro, I promise, he had probably like, Maybe the only song I had heard by him, he had a song with Jay Green and he just snapped on it. Like it was hard as fuck. So this is like the only other Atlanta rapper I'm really fucking with. So when I saw him, I'm like, hey, you should let me shoot a video for you. He was at Future Studio. Yeah. I'm like, you should let me shoot a video for you. He like, oh, for sure. He got my number. And man used to text me all the time. <laughs> he used to text me all the time, like, let's shoot a video. And I'd be like, all right, I'm about to pull up. And he, uh, just never be there, like never. He, I'll pull up and he won't be there <laughs> or he'll just stop responding. But he don't remember that shit. I talk, I talk to him about it all the time. He like, nah, he don't remember that. He don't remember it at all. He, all he remember is the, the video I shot out my body. Okay. He said he saw me shoot a video. I think it was the J.D. Youngin video I shot. And he like, that shit was hard and he fucked with that. He said that was the first time he ever heard a shot by Wolf, but he's capping because I met him at the studio. <laughs> That's the whole reason he followed me on Instagram. He would have never saw the J.D. Younger video if he didn't follow me on Instagram. He's wondering why he followed me on Instagram. I'm trying to tell him he followed me <laughs> because I met him a year ago. That's funny. But I fuck with Shawty. He, he hella cool, too. Yeah. He, he, I, he probably like my favorite Atlanta rapper. Okay. Yeah. No cap. And you toured with Keith and Gatta, right? Yeah. So what was that experience like compared to touring with Wayne, man? That it's... shit was fun, too. I ain't gonna lie. That shit was fun, too, but we got kicked off, like, the second day. <laughs> really? Yeah, we got kicked off, like, the second day. We had to go home. What'd you get kicked off for? I don't even remember. Some bullshit. Some bullshit. I don't know. I didn't know we got kicked off. And then 
at the last show, Drake was there. <laughs> really? So, yeah, if I would have been there, that shit would have been crazy for me. That shit was crazy. So you still shoot and edit your own videos, right? Yeah. I have a, I have a DP, though. Like he, okay. Um, he be, like, shooting a lot of them for me. Yeah. Sometimes I send them out there. Sometimes I go myself. It really just depends on how I'm feeling. Yeah. But shit, I feel like he better than me. Really? I feel like he better than me as far as, like, recording, like, angles and shit. Yeah. At what point did you know that you needed to get some help, man? Man, when I'm late on videos or... Or I'm people trying to book me two times at once, and I hate saying no. <laughs> so I'm like, bro, if I get somebody else, ain't no way I'm gonna I'm yeah. not do two videos at once. I was just out of town in Houston. I shot like hella videos, and he was out here shooting hella videos for me. So the money just never stopped. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, so you know, well, if you came here probably over a year ago, man, and you brought four, I think it was like four artists, man. And you was like, man, these guys are going to be next up. And sure enough, I think one or two of them already got signed. Yeah. Man. So at what point did you realize, man, I want to start, you know, not just shooting videos, but I kind of want to take these artists to the next level with me as well. Bro, I went, I went on, when I went on tour with Keaton Got It, the first show was in New York. And their label, Alamo, mm -hmm. they're, they're in New York. So I went up there. They fuck with me hella. Like, I love Alamo. They, I love them. I, f I love everybody up there. But they asked me, I asked them, like, hey, what I got to do to be an r Because I, I told them, I'm like, I probably have the best ear for music. And they, like, they all would laugh at me for real. And then I'm like, okay, yeah, fuck, fuck it. <laughs> but then I went back and I asked somebody else at the label, like, for real, what's up? And they, like, um... They told me some shit like, bro, if you find an artist and develop him, because it's not just about knowing the music. They like, if you learn, if you find an artist and develop him and come back, then we'll, we can set something up. And boom. That's when I, I found Key. Okay. I found Key and I got down. Boom. He got signed in two months. It was over with. Two months. Two months. I'm just, when I met Key, I'm like, bro, I'm a, at first, at first I wasn't really fucking with him because the people around him. But I got cool with everybody. Like it's love with all of them now. Like when I when I when we locked in, I'm like, bro, I'm gonna keep shooting your videos till you get signed. <laughs> you got signed two months later. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. And then FM, he's so he's so different. He hard as fuck. But when I I met him, cause he uh DM me about a music video, and I pulled up I pulled up on him first to get a deposit for the video. And he played me some of the songs, and I'm like, this nigga hard as fuck. This nigga hard. But I, w I wanted to tell him, like, hey, I'm going to keep shooting your videos for free, whatever we do, but I wanted him to pay me for the first video. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted him to pay me. But you know what's crazy? His mom, they paid, like, I think I was charging, like, a band at the time, a 1500 or something. At first, his mom told him, we're not shooting with Wolf. No. no. Why not? they like, we're not shooting with him because he charged... $1,500. We're not paying that. But they end up saving up the money. It took them like a month or something to save up the money. Shit, they saved it up. And after I, I shot, after I heard the song, it was like, oh, you ain't got to pay for no more videos. Fuck that shit. <laughs> I'm going to shoot all your videos for free. Yeah. So it's crazy that, because if she wouldn't have never paid that, I would have never met him. Really? Crazy. That was wild, bro. That's crazy. I think about that shit all the time. Every time I see her, we talk about that shit. Yeah. And now he's YSL. Yeah, now he watched them. <laughs> That's wild. And they like a, they show they show a lot of love. I ain't gonna lie. They like a real family. Yeah. Like so, not no fake family shit. They like, I feel like they really feel like each other. That they're they're like they grew up together. Like like they brothers and sisters type of shit. Yeah. What do you see as FN's uh, potential in the game? Uh? His potential in the game. I think he gonna go crazy. I'm not gonna cap. I feel like, you know what I feel like, bro? I manage him and I feel like I'm probably the smartest person in the world. <laughs> but everybody think that about themselves. But I truly think I think way different than a lot of people. Like him having me on his management team is like the key to success. I'm not gonna cap. <laughs> I feel like I think so out of the box. Like not like the average person. Yeah. 
clearly I gotta be right. I'm mm-hmm. getting niggas signed. FN got signed in like two months. Two. It took him like two months, and it took you like two months. So I gotta know something. Yeah, you got the magic touch right now, man. Yeah. yeah. Um, so how'd you link up with Dirk too, man? Uh, it's a dude at Alamo. Like I said, Alamo fucked with me heavy. Dude at Alamo, he kept sending me to um. He kept sending me to uh, Dirk shoots like take pictures, take pictures, take pictures, take pictures, or do behind the scenes, and then just click like that. Yeah. He fucked with me though. Yeah, he's like I that. was shocked. I was shocked. Somebody, um, somebody came to the, to the A. A Florida artist. He came to the A and was like, "Yeah, shit." That boy Dirk told me, cause he was like, he told Dirk he was looking for a cameraman. He like, boy Dirk told me, shit, if I'm in the A and I need a video, I need to go to Wolf. I'm like, oh, that's hard. I didn't think he was out there doing that. <laughs> that's crazy, man. You getting cosigns from everyone, man. Yeah, you getting referrals. Crazy. That's wild, right that's there. That's crazy. What was it like working with No Cap, man? Because uh, the free Dirk, yo, that was your first million, right? Yeah, that was my first million views. Yeah, hell yeah, I fuck with No Cap. He hella, he hella cool too. Like, I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm, people probably fuck with me so much because I have, I'm around everybody you just named, bro. I'm around all of their age, like Slime Life Shawty, No Cap, all of them. So it's always, it's never always business. Like, I'm in the studio with Shawty every single night every single night like every day you could think of i'm in the studio if i'm not in the studio with shawty i'm in the studio with got it or i'm in the studio with uh fm i'm in the studio with them and i'm not shooting videos i'm just chilling they just hey wolf come pull up studio. everybody just fuck with me heavy I, but i it's got to be because i'm goddamn around their age yeah. and i don't act like no regular cam i feel like people think cameramen are lame but i don't act like a cameraman at all why do you think people feel that way because we sit on the computer and they just, <laughs> sit on the computer all day and they just feel like, oh yeah, this dude a nerd. But hell nah, niggas fuck with me like, I fuck with God it heavy, like, heavy. I fuck with that man heavy, like we can go to the club <laughs> together type shit. <laughs> Shawty, same way. We can goddamn, we rented out an Airbnb one time, for like three days and we none of us slept for three days. And none, we didn't shoot no videos, we were just having fun. Just lit. What's some advice you would give some upcoming directors on how to get how to get their foot into the game and kind of get their name out there? Uh, I would say, I think what I was doing to really make everybody fuck with me at the beginning, I was uh, I was shooting like the big artist videos. I mean, you should you should do your best on every video, for sure. But I was um, sending people their video back like the same day. Rappers love that shit. Like, that's one thing they like more than anything. You send their video back fast. Like, they love that shit. Yeah. How long does it usually take you to edit a video now? I'm not gonna lie. It'll take me. It'll take me like two weeks to send somebody their video back. But, <laughs> but the actual work. How long? But the it actual take? work is like five hours. Like no joke. So the hardest video y'all probably seen from me. I don't know. What's my favorite video by myself? Probably. Uh, I got an unreleased video with, uh, I got a couple unreleased video with J.D. Youngin. They so hard and it probably took me like five, six hours. That's a 2K Baby video I did in 30 minutes. Really? <laughs> like, Edit-wise? Like 30 minutes, yeah. That's wild. I came at the house, he was bugging me about it. I came to the house, I'm like, <laughs> oh yeah, the shit done. Boom, send it to him. He like, damn, this shit hard as fuck. <laughs> that shit don't be taking me no time. Though. So um, yeah, I got to ask you about that viral video, man, when Lil Baby was like holding oh. your neck during the 42 uh-huh. Doug. Yeah, <laughs> that was funny. He, he uh, I ain't gonna lie, I feel like he, somebody, people was telling me he probably did that on purpose. Hmm. Because uh, they, he saw somebody recording and he like, uh, I don't know. They like, he just know, Baby smart as fuck. He really think, more than what the fuck you think he thinking. They're like, he probably did it on purpose. And he turned me up, too. Oh, yeah. That shit was on all the blogs. That shit was on every blog I could think of. Like, academics posted it, and he's huge. Yeah. Yeah. Man. Is that how Baby usually is on set? Yeah, Baby funny as hell on set, too. Maybe I just think that they're funny because, uh, because they're superstars. That's probably why I think niggas is funny. 
So baby could do anything, bro. Like he could probably fucking. If I seen baby pick up a penny, I'd be like, why? Why the fuck is he picking up a penny? Like this man's a millionaire and he's picking up a penny. I'm gonna think that that's funny. I think Thug is funny as hell too. He's funny as hell. But he be genuinely being himself. He don't be trying to be funny. That shit be funny as hell to me. He just be saying certain shit. Yeah. He was going off on Keaton got it about how he could do a verse faster than him the other day. He like, I could rap faster. I could do a verse. None, he like, none of y'all niggas could do a verse faster than me. <laughs> and got it like, nah, I be, I be going crazy sometimes. He like, hell nah, your ass be taking forever. Be playing the game, all type of shit. <laughs> Gotta be playing the game in the studio. He, For real. <laughs> he, he'll bring his PlayStation to the studio session. That man crazy. So where are you looking to take your career, man? Is it more into management and A and R, or are you you still passionate about shooting videos? Or I be saying I'ma stop shooting videos, but I be lying. I like I like seeing my myself create stuff. It's like a different feeling, you know. And then everybody telling you like, oh, this shit hard. Like just knowing you made this shit from scratch. It was nothing before you got down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know, but as far as management, I'm gonna forever be finding an artists. I'm gonna forever be finding an artists. That's that's a residual income. Oh yeah, really? My artists drop a tape or some shit and go platinum, and I get a check for it. <laughs> that's I don't. I'm sitting at the crib, and I might my artists might go platinum, and I get a check for it. That's a residual income. For sure. You got any other artists you're working with right now? Someone uh, we need to like keep an eye out for? Yeah. I can't say. <laughs> I don't want nobody stealing, stealing nobody. So do you get them on paperwork or is it more of a... Yeah, okay. I get them on paperwork. Yeah. But I ain't gonna lie, for Key, he was like the first person. So I was just like, I, am, I, I felt like I don't even have a, um, like a resume to put you on paperwork type shit. So I didn't make a dollar off Key, but I still love him to death. What's next for you, Wolf? I'm gonna shoot a Netflix movie. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna try. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna, I wanna like shoot a scary movie. Did you see Zay's? He did the Halloween movie. Zay's so hard. He just. <laughs> he's so hard, bro. Like, he's a big inspiration. But I did see his. His shit was hard. Yep. And I seen Drewski did a little. He did a little funny movie. That shit was cool too. Or it wasn't even a movie, it's like a series. He got like, I think he got more than one. Yeah. But that should just be cool to see people in Atlanta thinking outside the box. Mm -hmm. Like I'll go through a whole phase where I just won't touch my computer for a month because I'll be low key depressed because I feel like I'm falling off <laughs> because all my shit starting to look alike. And then I end up changing my style like that whole month. I'm changing my style because I don't want my shit to look the same. I've seen directors falling off because they keep using the same effects. Mm -hmm. So I be trying to switch my shit up. I'm like, okay, I'm now nah, I'm gonna start doing this. I'm not using this effect. No, whoa. Especially other people will take that effect and yeah. they'll run it into yeah, the people ground. People take man. your effect and just they'll drag it, like use it 20 times. <laughs> exactly. But yeah. my brother, he he shoot videos and shit too. He he if he take my effect, I'm not gonna like it no more. <laughs> He be, bro, this man be stealing my, he be stealing my effects. He come to my house and he'll download like my <laughs> presets. It right off of he it. will literally download my presets and take them to his house. <laughs> bro, I was at his house the other day. I, I let him shoot a video for me while I was out of town. And I went on his computer to put the files on my hard drive. And I see a row of all my effects, bro, <laughs> on his computer. I ain't even say nothing to him. I just took the hard drive and left. <laughs> You his inspiration, man. <laughs> yeah. I can't be mad at him, but still. <laughs> All right, any shout outs, Wolf, before we wrap it up, man? Uh, uh, shout out to my DP, Juwan. He got down, helped me a lot. Uh, shout out to my boy, Sonny, with the interviews. Sonny Falls, he go crazy with the interviews and behind the scenes and shit. Uh, Shout out to Shawty and Young Maul. Shout out to FN. Shout out to Key. Shout out to all of them. They, I feel like they helped my career hell. Yeah. Especially Maul. Yeah. So.
No, I probably got them pissed off. Got a big bag and my bitch raw. You'll never catch me tricking off. I'm a big dog, sound like Rick Ross. I was broke, but I don't fix it. I 